Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Clockify with Asana. Uh, first thing we have to do, we have to create ourselves an account at clockify.me and uh, as you can see uh, we are on our workspace. So what do we want to do now? We want to go to the left corner of our screen. There's a couple of options. Uh, so there's a time tracker, calendar, dashboard, and uh, you want to go all the way down to settings. At settings, you want to go and you want to pick integrations. Uh, I'm, uh, I have free account, uh, but if you want to uh, go through integrations uh, in, uh, in uh, Clockify itself or use Clockify for integration, there is, uh, you need to get at least standard a standard um, standard account on Clockify. But there's other way how we can make uh, quite basic integrations without uh, paying like uh, $7. We can use Zapier.com, uh, which is also a very useful application for, for integrations. Uh, we need to create uh, an account here, uh, which is free. So, uh, once we do that, we want to go to the top left corner, this black button, and we want to click on make a zap, like this. Now we can name our zap, like Clockify to Asana. And uh, let's start uh, with the trigger. So, at the trigger, we want to start with Clockify, like this. Trigger event, we have to pick from all those options. So let's go with the, I don't know, new project. We hit continue. Now we have to uh, pick an account. So let's go with this one. Uh, when you're going to log into the account, you'll get asked for API key. API key you will find in the top right corner of Clockify, you go to the profile settings and scroll all the way down. And as you can see, there's your API key. We hit continue. Uh, workspace, it's the, the one workspace that we created by creating the account. And now we can test our trigger. On the second action, we uh, are going for Asana as a app um, actually affected by this uh, integration uh, creating an event let's go with the first one as well we hit continue and the last thing is you have to also log into asana so that's about it thanks for watching and see you on the next video